In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my mobile car detailing setup and show you guys exactly how I organize all of my professional mobile auto detailing equipment. What up YouTube? My name is Luke Wilson and welcome to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. Now if you're a professional detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your auto detailing business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that red subscribe button right below this video. So as you guys can probably see, I'm sitting inside of my gorgeous Toyota Corolla, which I love. And I know what you're thinking, Luke, how could you possibly be a professional auto detailer who fits all of your stuff inside of a sedan car well guess what I'm about to show you so how the heck do I organize all of my professional auto detailing supplies and equipment in my Toyota Corolla well let's start with the back driver's side compartment so first and foremost and possibly the most important part of my whole detailing experience is this amazing Alltech Lansing Bluetooth speaker that I bought for $99 which I crank up my tunes as I'm detailing with this last for battery for like six hours Hours. It is amazing. Now, secondly, I have my huge tub of microfiber towels. So check this out. It's an awesome Tupperware thing. I've got all of my cleaning towels. I've got all of my plush drying towels. I've got all my interior towels, all that stuff. And obviously, they kind of need to be organized and folded. Secondly, right down here, I have my VX5000 steamer, which I'm not going to take out, but it exists inside of this amazing Tupperware box that is very durable and heavy duty. I've got my hose in here. I've got my all the attachments. I've got the body of the VX5000 itself, and it sits right there. So this is my back side passenger right here. Now next, I have my glorious pump sprayer, which comes in handy when I don't have water or when I'm detailing things like wheel wells, tires, engines, things that require a lot of uh, product. I can use that, and I don't have to wear out my fingers and my wrists and my forearm with a small spraying bottle. Now under this pump sprayer, I have my first toolbox, which holds pretty much like all of my regular stuff. It holds my tire sponges, my black trim sponges, my water sprayers. It holds some of my little tiny tools that I need. It holds some scissors. It holds all those sort of things that I grab on a pretty, pretty regular basis. It holds even some funnels that I use to like refill my products with and all of that stuff. And then actually on top of my toolbox right now, I have my, my tire sponge that I cut in half because I just ordered a new one of these because my other one was wearing out, so yes. Now let's go ahead and take a trip to the other side of my Corolla, which is the passenger side, back seat of the car, and here is where I have my awesome rigid vacuum cleaner. So this is where the rigid stays. Of course, I've got the hose kind of coiled up around here so that I can actually close the door and it doesn't block anything. Pretty amazing, right? So my rigid sits right here. Love the rigid. I got all the attachments back here. Pretty amazing. Now next to the rigid, I have my Rug Doctor. I love my Rug Doctor, cannot say enough good things about it. And just by the way, this is kind of a tour of the most vital things that I use and how I kind of store the things that I use on the most regular basis. So this is not a complete comprehensive review of everything I have. Sometimes I leave out certain things and put other things in, depending on the certain job, but this is like 90% of the time. So after the rigid and after the Rug Doctor, what's next? Right below the rigid, I have my polishing tool kit right here behind the passenger seat and my polishing tool kit fits my Griot's Garage DA, it fits my microfiber and foam cutting pads, it fits my, my main polishes and sealants that I use, it fits my sandpaper, all this sort of stuff that I need on the average polishing job. Now sometimes depending on the job in this tiny little space between my polishing toolbox and my other toolbox right here in the middle, well right here, I sometimes put a huge five gallon thing of like purple power or super clean or some sort of like big refilling sort of thing. That's where I'll stick that. And uh, now that we're done with the back seat, let's go ahead and check out the trunk. So here is what my trunk looks like pretty much like 100% of the time. I've got some dirty towels up here that I need to fix. I've got my hose right here, which is not necessarily like an industrial hose, but it's just like a regular, I think it's called Never Kink. It's a Never Kink hose. I've got a box that I actually just refilled of my magic erasers. But more than anything else, I have these two HDX 27 gallon tote buckets. And then right here in front of them, I have some refills right here of some distilled water. I've got some 
rapid remover. I've got some Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, things like that. A lot of times I'll even store some of my gallon stuff right behind here and right behind here in these little spaces. Now let's check out what's inside of these totes. So tote bucket number one contains all of my most used products. I've got some gloves. I've got my kind of four most refillable things right here. My, my degreaser. I've got my wheel brightener. I've got some Meguiar's X-Wax. I've got all-purpose cleaner. I even have a super degreaser bottle right here that I'm trying to go through because I really have stopped using this all together. So these are all my products that I kind of use on a most regular basis. And then tote number two, it's got some 12 gauge electrical cord, some extension cord for my steamer. I got two different buckets down here. One's my interior detailing caddy. One's just my kind of exterior detailing bucket. I've got another refillable right here. I've got some brushes. I've got the Tornador stuck down here in this tiny little crevice down here. I've got my air compressor hose and I've got like a 50 foot roll of extension cord and probably some other stuff jammed down in there. But those two tote buckets and other gallons of things and refillable things and my hose actually all fit in my Toyota Corolla trunk. So that is like more than enough space for all of this stuff and that like will get you a very long way in the detailing world. If you want to see exactly what I use and all the products and the tools in detail, Check out this video that I will link up in the YouTube card that will appear somewhere on the screen like right now. Definitely click that video and check out. You'll see much more specifics. But in summary, in the back seat here, I've got my rigid vacuum. I've got my rug doctor. I've got my polishing kit. In the trunk here, we've got everything totally full of two big tote buckets. I got my pump sprayer. I've got my toolbox. I've got my microfiber towels. I've got my steamer. I've got everything I could possibly need and so much more for like any detailing job ever. So there you go guys, that's like my full mobile car detailing setup. That's how I organize everything. And some of you guys are thinking, wow, I can't believe you don't use a van after seven years of being in the business. And here's the thing, for all you beginner detailers, here's a really strong encouragement to all you guys. For the longest time I thought I needed a van, I thought I needed all this like room and space, and I realized that I am actually able to fit everything I would put into a van in my car, and actually right now I still have more space to fill up my car with other things should I need it. And so a van, at least at this point, is just not a necessary thing that I need to invest in because I'm accomplishing every job I need, I'm accomplishing the complete job, and so much more with just my Toyota Corolla and uh, I still have space to grow and improve with where I am right now in this car. So if you are a beginner professional auto detailer, be encouraged because I've been doing this for seven years now and have actually refused to upgrade my vehicular kind of mode of transportation because of all the stuff I've been able to accomplish in this car and how useful and economical it is for me. It's absolutely amazing what you can fit in what seems to be a small space. So there you go everyone, that is how I organize all of my auto detailing supplies, it's how I organize all my professional auto detailing equipment, and that is my complete mobile auto detailing setup. So definitely understand that you guys can start wherever you're at, you don't have to have the fanciest stuff by any means. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and of course if you have any questions, comments, concerns, video ideas, or advice, make sure to link all that stuff up in the comment section below, and I would love to understand and see how you guys organize your stuff as a professional auto detailer in the auto detailing world, so definitely put that in the comment section, let me know. And if you guys are new to the Wilson Auto Detailing YouTube channel, first of all, welcome, and second, definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this for the professional auto detailers and the car enthusiasts on not only how to become more successful and profitable, but also products, tools, and strategies to implement. And on this YouTube channel, I share the exact strategies that have allowed me to build my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours, so if you are interested in that, definitely consider subscribing subscribing. Everyone, thanks so much for watching and being involved in the Wilson Auto Detailing community. And as always, from Luke Wilson, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.